Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the outstanding 2-0 victory over Standard Liège in the Europa League Group D Game 1 tonight. Absolutely amazing, really is. Our European form is just... I, I'm lost for words and I'm kind of burying the lead here with obviously Ruth's goal at the, right at the death but um, just uh, what a performance from the team once again we were solid we rode our luck on occasion but we restricted what Standard Liège done they were a dangerous team they, they were quite happy in possession they were quite quick their their um, crossing was, was great but other than a couple of occasions we mopped everything up and the stats say that they never had a shot on target which is quite incredible to be honest the game itself we made three changes from the Celtic game and it's it's a strange thing because normally when we've made changes before you're thinking is that really the right decision but you seem to be absolutely comfortable with, with the players coming in the players dropping out and obviously the strong bench we had as well but in the first half it was really an interesting first half with both teams having periods of possession was pretty even Liege maybe had the better chances and they even hit the bar twice once right at the death as well the, the first half we got the penalty and it came from the period when we were in decent play 17th minute there was a corner to us the ball was whipped in from the right by Tavernier Goldson gets his head to it bounces off the ground and up off the defender's arm which is clearly outstretched and modern handball rules say it's a penalty so up steps Tavernier into the bottom left hand corner keeper got a slight hand to it on the way in but there was too much power with it there and he keeps up his scoring record which is now <laughs> just uh, it mind boggles you his scoring record now as I said though, they were confident knocking the ball about, but we were equally happy to mop up and snuff out any attacks they threw at us. We did dick about on occasion at the back, which has been a change from what we've, the way we've played this year. We've normally just you know cleared our lines straight away, but we seem to be very comfortable in that respect. And we played out from the back, we taken the touches and there was no mistakes, which is always, the, always a good thing. Other than the goal though, our best chance of the first half fell to Morelis in the 31st minute after some good play, he was fed the ball inside the box, he had some clear space to shoot but he elected to pass to the left to our player who had two players on him and I don't understand why, it's, it's, we've said before he's a confidence player and at this level we cannot afford to have a player, a confidence player who's out of confidence because Morelis of old would have just shot that, he would have maybe taken a touch to put it on his better foot and he would have buried it into the back of the net or at least made the keeper make a save but for him to elect to pass that as an instinctive striker that he is and he passed it to a player who had players surrounding them, I don't know what it is with him just now he had a fairly decent game against Celtic but then he faded off towards the end it's really, really odd and as I said we can't really have, afford to have that and as we've seen, Roof comes off the bench and, and scores so the downsides in terms of uh, open play though in the first half is they hit the bar twice and we maybe we rode our luck a wee bit there. We're in the 28th minute, they had a cross from the right, there was a header from the attacker who got goal side from about six yards out and it hit the bar back into a play and eventually cleared for the corner. I initially thought that McGregor got his fingertips to it but um, replays show that it was just a clear header and he hit the bar. And The second one was right at the death of the first half, they had a quick break up the park, they got the ball down the, the right, a superb cross into the middle of the box the attacker got in between the two centre backs and got the header in and it rattled off the bar it should have been a goal it was a great cross but really poor defending allowing it was quite a tight kind of space he got into as well and he, he actually managed to feed himself through there and get the header off but um, fortunately we were, we were quite uh, quite lucky in that respect the only problem we had really in the first half it was disappointing to see that Barisic go off after picking up a knock to his thigh I think but Bassi came in and he was immense in this game given the fact that he's had a, a lack of game time he's had his own injury problems himself he was immense so physical as well and he was up and down that wing and you know it was it was great to see so certainly that's what's good about having two players for every position and you know he's actually technically a center back rather than a left back although he has played in left back before so but into the second half we again it was much of the same we had periods of possession we we had periods when we sat back a wee bit but we were full of confidence and that's the difference. Not one point tonight where I was really worried about it. The game kind of changed though on the 50th minute where there was an absolute torrential downpour and it never really let up until, you know, maybe about 5-10 minutes before the, the end of the game. However, the damage has been done and the pitch got severely waterlogged and really... 
around about the, the 60th minute, it was really notable uh, where the, ball, the, the the players could barely pass five yards in front of each other, where the ball was just holding up. It led to, it was really a bit of a calamity and farcical uh, for the last half an hour of the game. There was a few, quite a few mistakes, as you would expect, and fortunately none of it was in front of our goal, but it was the same for both teams, and players had to check their runs, they tried to dribble the ball forward and it was just getting held up. Uh, not really much you can do, the rain was, was incredible at that point, so... Can you blame any players or the, even the groundsman for that one? Made a couple of substitutions throughout the game. Morelos came off on the 74th minute and Roof came on. Looking to see out the game. A wee bit nervy towards the end given the, the state of the pitch and just this... Not, I wouldn't even class it as a mistake. Just a bit of fortune for either team could have cost, cost another goal. But in the 92nd minute, Liege crossed the ball into the box. The player was on the far side of the, the box with incomplete space but he seemed to miss time his, his control the ball went under him we regained possession back the ball fell to roof deep in our half in terms of the actual play to get to that position first it was outstanding so physical he taken on about three players he drove the ball forward so physical and then he looked up and from the halfway line he lobbed the keeper into the back of the net I don't think any of us have seen Rangers score a goal like that before from the halfway line. Just absolutely incredible. It's got the whole of Twitter, the whole of media talking about it because it was just a touch of genius from that player. And as good as Morelis has been, and I know this is just obviously one goal from Roof, if this is the type of play, both physical and awareness and the execution of it, then Morelis better buck up his ideas very quick because we've got a striker, if he can stay fit, obviously who can fit right in his in his place and he can he's got obviously got the attributes so but overall it was an outstanding performance from the team it was so assured and it's what we've come to expect from Europe now and as I said before the old firm game I'm always worried when we go into games favourites I'm not saying I'm not sure if we're the favourites in this game at all but when there's that expectation we've always historically floundered with this but not with this team this is different now and obviously when the group was made we're, we're you know the talk was we're, we're certainly going to qualify out of it if not then we should be topping the league but well need to wait and see but perfect start three points in the bag already Benfica had a bit of a scare I think they, they won 4-2 uh, but they, they was two each at one point so and um, Poznan are not going to be walkovers either but just um, another excellent European performance so everybody maybe bar, bar Morelis was, was spot on today Tavernier, Goldson, Balogun, Kamara again just just outstanding so can't rest on the laurels because as I said in the main pod we've got a, a quick run of games here we're playing Livingston at home on at three o'clock on Sunday so I expect a few changes for that you know there's going to be a lot of heavy legs after a half hour trenching through a, a flooded pitch today so we'll just need to wait and see but as ever if you want to check out our the rest of our podcast you can go to our website which is ireadypodcast.wordpress.com and there you can find what we do there so thanks for listening and goodbye